The following program has been rated PG-13. What's up, Israel? Welcome to Season 2 of the Israel Wake Up Call. And what better way to start this season off with what happened last night with the baby where he was arrested and detained for virtually nothing. Now, there's some footage that I'm going to show you. And as you always know, I'm going to show you the raw footage so that no one is trying to accuse me of manipulating your feelings. All right. So without any further ado, I'm going to go ahead and show you this footage. Now, I want you to pick up on something. And afterwards, I'm going to see if you pick up on what I picked up on when I initially saw this footage. All right. So without any further ado, here we go. Baby, what happened? CMPD. Unlawful police department. Unlawfully searched my car, arrested me. Made me take 12 pictures in there, sit around, arrested me. Then pulled me from out of there and just say, okay, we free to, you free to go. We about to drop you off around the corner. And gave me a citation. They say I resisted arrest. Now what I did, seeing how they were unlawfully searching my car while I was on stage. Before I went on stage, I continued to perform, put on the show for my fans. Had my my outstanding video production team, the Real Goats, had them prepared and had this right here put on me and pulled their own trick on them. So what we got is high quality audio and video of me doing everything but resisting arrest before they just brought me down here. And we will be airing it out, and y'all will see how dirty the CMPD Police Department just did me on the holidays in front of my daughter while I was putting on the show for my city. Y'all have a good night. What did they charge you with, the baby? They didn't charge me with shit. They just charged me with, resi with, with resisting arrest. Resisting arrest? Yeah, y'all gonna see a video on my Instagram tomorrow to show y'all I ain't resist arrest. Y'all feel free to take it and put speaking, it in y'all news. Speaking of your Instagram, you put out that you feel targeted every time you come to Absolutely. your Absolutely. Every time I do a show here. Every time I do a show here. Every time. There's nobody when I pull up in the parking lot the second I get out the car. 15 cops come around. Can I borrow your microphone? Shining it all into the car window. Shining it all into the car window. They follow me. They pull us over for no reason. They search our cars. They they do everything. They treat us like animals, you know what I mean? We just putting on for the city. I'm cold. They took my shirt. Y'all be good. Happy just holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays to everybody, you know, from us to y'all. Y'all be good. Thank you, baby. Okay. Now, did you pick up on what I picked up on when you watched that footage? So for those of you that did not pick up on it, did you notice what happened with the reporter? The reporter that was talking. Now, there was this reporter. It was the man that was standing right over here. Well, camera right over here to the left. Right. And he asked the baby, he said, why were you detained? And the baby Answered, he said, I wasn't detained for shit. And then, did you notice how he subtly snuck in there? Misdemeanor and marijuana? Setting a plant. That was absolutely disgusting. That just shows you how evil these Edomites really are. But the great thing about this was that that was actually caught on camera. I love the Most High and I love how the Most High works. Not only that, but what else did you notice about what the baby said as far as his whole detainment? He said that he had his own camera crew there so that they can actually record everything that was happening and they have the proof and the evidence that he is going to release that he was arrested for absolutely nothing. So I really hope more comes out of this. But the unfortunate, sad thing about this is that, unfortunately, he got into an industry that fills our people with false promises, 
false hopes, dreams that will never come true. That is what this entire rap industry and quite frankly, entertainment industry is all about when it comes to Israel. Because for those of you that don't know, there are rituals that you have to go through in order to elevate and their little secret societies and things of that nature. And that's a whole nother lesson there. But in regards to that reporter, of course, I'm going to go to the scriptures on this one here. I want you to open your Bible because I want you to see this for yourself. Go to Genesis 3, 1. And it reads, now the serpent, the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And I'm going to stop it right there. The serpent, that little beguiling, sly, slithery little creature. That's exactly what you just saw. Isn't it pathetic, Israel? How he went ahead and planted that in there so that the rest of the world could just hear those terms. Misdemeanor and marijuana. I'm telling you, that was that that was deep. But the good thing about it is that it's now recorded. And so many people are going to let that pass by and they're never going to pick up on it. But guess what? You're not going to. And these are the things that I want you to start paying attention to, especially when watching the news and see how they treat us. That was horrible. It was pathetic. And this is where right now I'm reaching out to the fathers. I'm reaching out to the fathers of Israel because I want you to become more invested in your children's lives with them learning a trade, male and female, prince and princess. I want you to start teaching your children a trade. And mothers, this includes you too, but mainly I'm talking to the fathers to teach your son to put a hammer in his hand or how to go out there and fix a car or to fix computers, whatever it is that you do, whatever it is that you know how to fix, whatever that you do as a trade, you need to start teaching your children. And this is not gender biased. Teach them. Because the only thing that they're really going out there to do is to become an entertainer or a sports, or an athlete, excuse me. All right, to become a rapper, basketball player, baseball player. And we all know about those dreams and aspirations, man. It's nonsense. It's a fraud to our people. I know it and so do you. And if you do make it in that industry, you have to give up your soul. You know that. Many of you out there know that, but yet you will still encourage your kids to do it because you want to get rich. And that is so horrible. That is such a betrayal to your child and quite frankly, to our nation. We are the best at everything that we do. Teach your child to become a brick mason, how to build a house, something that he can contribute back to his family, to our nation other than degrading our women and encouraging the selling of drugs to kill our people come on now we can do so much more better than that but this is where this comes from now i want you to open your bible again you y'all already know i stay in the scriptures and i'm always going to show you from the scriptures I want you to go to Psalms chapter 137, verse 3. I'm going to show you where all this comes from, where, this, where these dreams and aspirations come from. Psalms 137, verse 3, and it reads, For there that, excuse me, for there they that carried us away captive. Let me stop right there for a second. This is talking about for those that carried us away in slavery. I'm going to read it again. For there they that carried us away captive required of us a song. And they that wasted us required of us mirth. Now, mirth means amusement, laughter. Saying, sing us one of the songs 
of Zion. That is where that comes from. They have been indoctrinating us and prepping us since the slave ships. So that when y'all get over here, guess what you niggas gonna do? <laughs> y'all are gonna be for our entertainment. Y'all gonna sing for us. Y'all are going to do all the things we want you to do to make us laugh and to keep us entertained. That's why you have the comedians that all take that oath, that satanic oath. Basketball players, baseball players, soccer players, singers. And that's male and female, that's both. Nigga, get your ass on that field and run that ball. Get a touchdown. Dribble that ball. For you spits and you wetbacks, crack that baseball and get me some home runs. Go out there and hit that soccer field and keep the world entertained. Oh, yes. Blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans. And for you Native Americans, I'm not leaving you out. Get your ass out them damn reservations and get in that casino and make us our money. Oh, absolutely. I'm telling you right now, that is how you know who the curses were put upon by the things that we do. That's one of the, the biggest ringers right there. And I'm telling you, we have to build our nation. You just saw with this reporter and, and just how deep that rabbit hole goes for trying to keep us in such peril. And I'm telling you, y'all don't think it's a big deal, but it really is. That was horrible. But I really hope something comes out of what the baby actually recorded. And remember, it's only going to go as far as the Most High allows it to go. Because remember, we are still under curses. But the Most High is going to continue to wake us up. And that there was a huge wake-up call. A plant right there on screen for everybody to see. It shows you just how they do us. And that was already predetermined. All right, that was premeditated. He already had that up there. And if it wasn't done by him, it was done that was in his earpiece. And somebody fed that line to him. Either way, it was done. And I'm telling you, I love Genesis 3.1. That's right, the serpent is the most subtle of all the beasts in the field. That tells you exactly who their daddy is. Oh yeah, it does. And again, I thank the Most High for letting that out. So seriously, Israel, this is something that you really need to contemplate. And when you see your children trying to aspire to be a rapper or something like that, okay, mm, how about learning something else? Just in case if that doesn't work, because quite frankly, I don't want you to give up your soul because there's some things that you have to do. Do your research. You, There's insurmountable amount of evidence out there for you to see that this does not belong to us and you should never encourage your children to get into that entertainment industry. All right, just, just look at the examples that we have, starting with Cardi B, Nicki Minaj, and all the other rest of them rappers and everything like that, from Jay-Z and all of the satanic imagery that he wears all the way to Beyonce. There's just too much. And I don't want to get into that freaking Illuminati crap and everything because it's it, it's it's absolutely ridiculous. Yes, it's real out there. Yes, it is. But we have so many bigger fish to fry within Israel than to put ourselves down in that. What we need to be doing are teaching our children the commandments and following the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High God. That should be our only focus. Not who's in the Illuminati and not in the Illuminati and all that stuff. Because if you get into that industry, you're in. That's just the bottom line to it. All right? And our people are so much more... We're the greatest people on earth. They're so much more talented than that. Can you imagine if we put our heads together and we encourage our children to get into architecture? And we come together as a nation, as the Most High always says, gather yourselves together, O nation not desired, and we start building buildings. We get land and we start building things. Just that alone. Remember, we built the pyramids that they still can't figure out how to build. 
<laughs> I'm serious. This is why they keep us separated. So that our genius cannot elevate theirs. I'm telling you, Israel, <laughs> if we only would listen to the Most High and gather ourselves together, O oh nation not desired, the things that we can accomplish. But they keep us separated, though. And a lot of us parents push our children into that direction. And it's really because of us that it continues. But we're going to think big, though. We're going to we're building. We're going to get there eventually. And it's going to be a slow process. But eventually we are going to get there. All right. So with that being said, uh, I want to thank you guys for tuning back in to season two. And I'm I'm really looking for great things with this season. And as you already know, they hate this show. And when I say they Edomites and the other nation, they can't stand this show. And which is why you can actually see how the numbers dwindle down because they're not sending out the recommendations and all that stuff. But guess what? I don't care. This is still going to come out. And if we have to switch to a different platform, then we will. But as of right now, we're going to keep it right here. We're going to let the Most High do what he does best. And that's shut them up and silence them and let his will be done. All right? So with that being said, Israel, I love y'all. I'm out.